Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. We're going to do some digging today. I'm back at the site across from the river, and this is dig number four here. Which is wonderful that there has been that much stuff already, and I've only worked this small portion of land. We've definitely established that there was a structure somewhere in this general area and all around here has been stuff from the 1800s. Surprisingly, nothing older, 1700s. You would figure uh, with the mills over there, that village, people have been here a long time. And I keep thinking to myself, with each thing that we dig, there has got to be an 1800s coin nestled in here somewhere, right? Right. So, who knows? We'll hope for the best. And uh, either way, we'll enjoy digging the things that we dig. Well, let's see what we start out with today and what signal one brings. Oh wow. Took me a second to figure that out, but I got it now. It is actually a pocket knife. There is the top of the handle. It would have actually been down this way. That's the brass part. That's yeah, I don't want to bend that. That's been bent up. That's the blade. Handle blade. Cool. At least it was a relic. Not Willie. There's more. There we go. All the remains of someone's pocket knife. What a loss. But happy to have found it now. It's a small iron ring. It's not a washer, it's uh, round, stockwise. Rang up nice. Bullet, the lead projectile. First one of the day. second bullet of the day. No idea. Little piece of something. Well, that signal feels a little bit larger. It sure looks squeaky. Because it's sheet metal. As usual, I'm going to show you guys everything I dig. So you can see the things that you find when you metal detect in the woods of New Hampshire. Kind of weak and under this old log. Like a big metal pin. That was six inches down, right in the right on the old ground on the clay. Well there's some good numbers finally. And for those of you who've been following. Uh, you know, past few trips here, I still haven't moved away from where the structure was. I'm still right in that, you know, 60 foot parameter. I just haven't felt the need to venture out yet because I'm still getting lots of signals. green. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at, look at the green patina on that. That is a beautiful rain guide off a wagon or something. 
and uh, that was six inches deep again down at the hard clay level but man look at the color on that awesome casing from a revolver or something that's different than usual or at least here It's a weak one. That's different. There's definitely been a lot of melted stuff here. That's actually broken right off, whatever it was. And somewhat melted. Hmm. Lead. Well, with that target, I have come way back from where I have been digging just to see what's out here. And there's still iron. And that was the first signal. It took about a minute to find. So the area is quite uh, loaded with activity. It's not just that concentration that appears. Let's see what else we can find. More melted lead. Big nail. Another big nail. These are modern. Well, pile of nails and something ringing up high. No way. Unbelievable. It's a symbol. In with a pile of nails. Wow. Boy, that rang up snappy. Well, that last target, I was just thinking about it. That was pretty awesome when you figure. I just pulled a thimble out of a pile of big nails and all I heard was the thimble. Melted stuff, real small. Doesn't sound deep. Oh. What is that? Huh. Jeez. Is that a watch back? If so, that would be the third one. Oh yeah, there is a latch right here. You know, a clipping point. That's surprising. Find that many in, you know, one spot. That generally doesn't happen. But we're happy about it. I'm just a couple feet over. Oh, 22 casing. That makes sense. With the numbers and lack of depth in the ground piece of stuff <laughs> finally first oxen shoe out of the site surprisingly boy what a signal nice so I've made my way back over to uh, the concentration of stuff back to the stacked rocks little lip and it just goes to show you with doing this how much reading the land makes sense I just spent 10 minutes in there where it's lumpy nothing no iron no nothing but as soon as you reach this line where see that you can see the vegetation change but the land has been worked and it's all iron and targets. All on this side of where the structure was. And then behind the structure, it's 60 feet, maybe 80 feet to the wall. And uh, not to say we couldn't find anything out there, but I didn't. So I'm gonna swing here for a few more minutes, one more target, and then I'm done. Oh, 
beautiful. Great way to end. Nice spoon handle. Heavy. Real heavy, actually. And that makes spoon number five out of this location. Wow. Well, all right, everybody. What an awesome way to end the dig. I appreciate you joining me and watching always. This has been a great new spot for me. That's four digs. And every time I've come here, I barely even have to move around to find targets. Yes, I took one walk out, not even halfway across, and back, and found more things. But come back up here, spoon. You gotta love old New England ground, because you never know who was there and what they were doing. But people were do definitely doing things. So go out and do some things yourself. And enjoy your not Thursday.